In this video, we'll look at the circle tool, the protractor tool, and these two rectangle tools, and we'll talk about how to orient them. The circle tool orients with the face that it is parallel to. So if you run it over a piece of geometry, that's an easy way to orient it. Here it's parallel to the blue axis, to the green axis, and to the red axis. If it's black, it means it's not parallel to any of the axes. If the tool is not on a piece of geometry, you can control its orientation with the arrow keys. The top arrow key will lock this tool in place, and if you press and release it again, that unlocks it. The left arrow, if you press and release it, locks it onto the green axis. I just pressed and released to unlock. And the right arrow locks it to the red axis. If you hold the shift key down, it's locked parallel to an axis. So I'm holding it down. I've released it. Now I'm holding the shift key down again. And so you can see this is locked to that axis. The circle tool works by clicking and then either typing or clicking a radius, and that's that. Now I want you to notice that when I first click on the circle tool, this appears, sides, 24. A circle is really a polygon, and the default is 24 sides. But I can change that. I can make it have more sides, or I can make it have less sides. If I make it have more sides, it will be smoother looking. If I make it have less sides, it's going to look more like a polygon. We'll try that again. I'm going to make it have 15 sides. Now see that? If the feature you're making the circle for isn't important, you might want to give it less sides because less sides take up less space in the file. Here's the protractor tool. It locks to an axis the same way. You just press and release the arrow keys. Click click, and then type or click the angle that you want. Here is the rectangle tool. It orients itself the same way. Click two spaces, and there's your rectangle. The rotated rectangle lets you click three points, which is useful for something like a door, because I can click once, then I can click a height, then I can click a width, and there you have it.